Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here, and welcome back to Dying Light 2 Stay Human. We left off last episode making it to the Peacekeeper's main terminal. They won't let us through the terminal tunnels because they need to have it locked until they find the killer that killed their commander. So they put us in charge of finding the killer because they everyone pretty much trusts us since we're new to the area. Well, kind of. And now we gotta go talk to, I believe, is... Sophie, we're leaving off straight from when I left off last episode. Yeah, we got a question, Sophie, about Lucas. Hello? Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Oh, well, damn. This time with a biomarker. Oh, this is the dude that locked us out in the beginning of the game. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs we cannot make the same mistakes he didn't want to he had to you were a threat to everyone of course i understand kind of to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction there will be no rebuilding I Who would have thought a pilgrim in the bazaar welcome yeah i'm still alive despite your best efforts it's clear to me you're holding a grudge but if you were in my shoes you would understand we are responsible for the safety of our community and we treat this seriously that's why we did what we did i hope you can forgive us so pray tell what's it like in the outside world these days Mm. Bad. Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Oh, uh, tell me about Not you. Really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So it sounds like these guys are pacifists. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A sheep, I'm no threat to you. A wolf, you better watch out. Hmm. I don't like that metaphor. I'm really fan of this metaphor. I, am I am what I need to be. Scene. That's the thing. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death 
I have a package for her. It's my own business. I uh, it's my own business. That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, pilgrim. But uh -oh. fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Okay. Well, now you guys don't seem so peaceful after saying that. When I die, I want to be burned to ash. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Herman. Sophie, can we talk? Don't Whoa. Him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Uh I'll look for him. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. So the only way I know we're trying to figure out a way to find the killer and get out of the bazaar and unlock the next area. But I think we're trying to earn her trust by doing jobs right now for Sophie. Hey, you. Yes, you. Hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, hello. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fucks. <laughs> They've already sent one of their... F f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow. <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Okay, thank you. Right up, my boy. Can I actually upgrade anything? I still don't know how to get the unique trophies. But there's nothing I really want to upgrade right now. I could do that if I wanted. I think that's for a two-handed weapon, maybe. Make sure that weapon, weapon heavier, but don't really need it. Do you have anything I can sell? I can sell my valuables. And let me sell all my not so great weapons. There you go. And we're good here. Sophia. Now we go talk to Sophie again. Got it. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. 
Why does she have a bodyguard, I wonder? Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the world. Damn it, Barney. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, Damn. answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. Got it. Luis is still night. You guys can't see the time because my cam's covering it. Fast forward to night. We're already at night. Did that just reset night? It did. Okay. Run, run, run. Ooh, that's a good jump. Uh-oh, somebody needs our help. I like these ones because they be because they are pretty easy to do. There you go. Let's collect some of this stuff real quick. Whoops. There we go. Damn, I was hoping an inhibitor would be in there. Even though my thing didn't go off. But that was a random find. There's the store. Oh. Hi, guys. Inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. I'm going. I'll say they're level one, so this is just easier. Got to get these crystals that Barney's failing to get, apparently. One second, Barney. I'm on my way. These are very valuable, though. Any up there? No. Uh oh. Is that Barney sitting next to me while I'm just looting crystals? Oh, damn. Barney. Do you hear me? Poor Barney. Report in, damn it. Sophie. Satan, I found a radio and a body. Male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kojak, one of ours. Oh. Barney can't be far. Not Barney. Some information can be hidden in a side discover. You need to use investigation mechanic. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. I'm trying, Sophie. Don't worry. Gotcha. Barney? Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. I kind of got some. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. I'm trying. Barney, go back to where you came from. Your sister is worried about you. Don't do it. Kids, don't be out of it. But, but it's true. You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two. Go the fuck away. You ain't getting a thing from me. Oh man. Uh oh. Damn it, Barney. So stubborn. Oh, that's not it. Ready to come out, Barney? Barney. Okay, that's it. Hi. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey. I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Birdie. We gotta find Birdie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no okay. position to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. You have to find help on his own. We're leaving. I'll look for him, I guess. Find him. He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! I'm too nice just to not do anything about it. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff up there. Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Hey, you find birdie? Not yet. But he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Well, I'm trying to follow the trail. My sense is not working. That's one glitch that I wish would get fixed. There we go. I wasn't going down without a fight. This all went up. Oh, come on. Okay. Stretch Armstrong over here. I went that way. Happy birthday, dear birdie. What the hell? Up 
up there. Oh, hi. Who are you? The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well... Two were wounded already, but <coughs> listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Okay. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello, mom. <coughs> You there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan. What's going on? Oh, no. Nathan. What the hell? Nathan. your brother Barney's here already just arrived he what what he was supposed to <sighs> didn't trust you he thought you wanted to take the crystals but he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away it's not like that oh that's a unique trophy okay I'll explain everything. so fun fact Bolters give you the unique trophies. I think. Because I just got one. And that was a bolter, I believe. I cannot believe he just up and left. Acted like he was worried about that kid. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to fall down and take the damage. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That's Screw you. you. Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. What a D bag. I don't like him. I really don't. Yeah, you. We have to kill them, Carl. 
They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Ooh, information. Why are crystals? crystals. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Damn. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, wow. and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was going to handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. Damn. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. 
and they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Got it. Something tells me something is going to go down. Wait, did I get skill points? It looked like I got a lot there. No, I didn't. Okay. I think I only got a thousand for each. XP for each. Uh, We're still on the storyline, right? Yes. So we got to go protect them during their meet. Why is that music up? Aiden? Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! Oh, there it is. Susie, what's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Okay, I'm on my way. It's only gonna take a minute. I gotta get this guy taken care of. There you go. Almost there. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay, whatever you say. Uh, I don't want to use anything loud. I have a molly. Does anybody have a bell on their back that they can call in reinforcements? Someone left a light on for us. Oh yeah, windmill baby. Oh, hi. I made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Um, okay. Susie? Carl. They took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. Damn. First birdie, now her. Damn. 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 There's nothing you could have done. What are those? Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. What? A goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Not so bad. Everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. 
I could have guessed that. Oh, you took my spear away. Okay, so if I'm on my way. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. <laughs> I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the Marian kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Got it. Uh... Oh, parkour. Nice. But look at that. As soon as we get up here. Maybe. Or not. Okay, parkour. Leveled up. We can do double jump, which would be nice. Oh, I want that. Safe landing. Increase the height you can fall without taking damage. That's cool. That's, something tells me that's going to be very useful since I take a lot of damage falling a lot. Oh, good jump. Hey, Herman. Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Man of very little words to say. Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <laughs> okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Oh, just take a nice little nap. What? Wait. Huh? Oh, this is a flashback we interact with. Okay. Mia. Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia. Oh no. 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 What the hell? Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. <laughs> it's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. Mm. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. I hope that's not a piece of information I need to attack Herman in the future. I'm watching over him. 
Yeah, that seems very detailed information. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was a How is this my fault? Barney, shut up. What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party, not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass, but we'll do something good for the city one day. To your help. Oh, that took a minute. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur's <laughs> Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Okay. I saw here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make what the hell? There, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. What? I'll tear them apart. I swear hey guys, I'll be back. I gotta just step away for a minute. Don't mind me. Okay, just just going over here for a little bit, taking a mild run. I've heard everything. Let's talk. Okay, Snoopy McStoop. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem huh. like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too. Look how he ended up. So that information about Herman is probably going to be something that comes into play. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water. That's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also one oh boy who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. 
Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Okay. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous <laughs> than they seem. Join the party. Got it. Hey guys, I'm coming back. Just had to take a little run. Get get my limbs warmed up. Hey buddy. So I know in this game you're gonna be able to choose your faction about who you want to control the area. I think I am gonna side with the peacekeepers this playthrough. I can't wait to do a new game plus like way down the line to see what other options there are. Because I have a feeling now that Herman information is gonna come into line to attack him from behind where he can't hear you. Oh boy. It looks like Sophie's not here. Hi guys. We must, for. must be Dad, it's still early. Okay. Pilgrim! The thing! There is a, a, a one I don't really want to talk to him. Only the other way around. Yeah, have you seen Sophie? I'm I'm looking for. Oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Uh oh. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts. Must have a brain made I don't feel so comfortable genius. around these people anymore. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling him music? Hey, you mangy pricks. Say your prayers. Barney's coming. And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. Okay. You here. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said the. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with. Uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken that uh, oh. dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio oh uh it hisses sometimes but as long as it works no point messing with it um can i ask you a question sure, Call sure. Me. vincenzo uh, aiden how do you become a pilgrim does that mean you're a murderer vincenzo why what do you why would you dad i'm asking because i'm curious will you tell me aiden i'm not that exciting i've had to kill people but i'm not a murderer all being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end to what end vincenzo leave him alone <laughs> to find the only family I've <laughs> that old man is so nice did you not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Damn. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls? They were trying to create a vaccine here. It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time and more all across the city and none of them have ever been found no but based on what federico's mother said i have a feeling i know what happened 
Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. The damn GRE. Wait, how the hell did you end up right there? I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! He's a loose cannon. To your hell! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We had been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Bernie. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn, and he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me, and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Tell her the truth, I guess. My sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. Uh -oh. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. I don't like this guy. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There, on the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Okay. Whatever you say. I'm not, I'm getting a very uneasy feeling with this group of people now. Especially Barney, I don't feel welcome. And especially after talking to Aider. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe. And that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Approach a bandit camp and use your binoculars to identify entry points. Locate the camp leader and identify potential environmental opportunities. Wow. To take over a bandit camp, you'll need to kill the camp leader. What? Okay, I really like this. This is a cool mechanic. Played it like a, almost like an Assassin's Creed. When you claim the camp, you establish a safe zone and earn additional rewards. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. 
There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one is suicide. It's got the most guards. So there's a guy at the horn over there. First, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Okay. The Tango Motel. So can I look at the binoculars again, boys? There's an entrance down there. Zombies down there, okay. It's advised to use stealth here. Okay, got it. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystal. Fast. Okay. I'll do what I can. Trying to figure out a good way to get up here. To keep it all stealth. At least it's morning now. I think I sold all my coins. Those would be nice right now. Gotcha. Warrior. Hello. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Don't mind me. I'm trying to figure this out. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Shut up! No! Are you friendly? Okay. My bad. Can I take out the lieutenant? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Oh my gosh. Oh. How silly of me. Uh. Hi. Burn! There we go. Oh, some glasses. Nice. What's this? After you claim the flag tower, all loot inside the banding camp will disappear. Okay, I'll wait a minute. Ooh, hello. Well, they had a bunch of stuff in here. I'm glad I waited and looted it. Damn. So these bandit camps have a ton of loot inside the locked shed. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and claim this now. Almost got it. Nice. Bro, 
Free Carl, okay. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Okay. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? Uh-oh. I have to help the maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. <laughs> Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Okay. Okay, so when I was actually exploring a couple days ago, I actually came across this area and couldn't get inside because it was locked, so I probably had to unlock it through a story line. I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. Oh no! No, no, no! Oh no! I have to go meet Sophie. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Oh! That was the first decision where it's like they gave you a time limit. Oh, yeah, upstairs is my guess. Barney, you there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. Did the peacekeepers wipe these guys out? Oh man. Maybe I won't side with them. Sophie, what the hell is going on? Report in. I'll well, take that. We shall upgrade stamina again. I just like upgrading stamina. Uh oh. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh shit. Oh damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. Uh oh. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Oh no. Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Wait, Barney. Barney, wait. Hi, guys. What's up? Yeah, you guys are no match. I'm sorry. Okay, Barney, get your ass back here. It's gonna be Herman. Oh no! Figures. Uh, I kind of wish I had Molotovs now. Looking for Sophie. Sophie. Damn it! This isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way! Uh oh. Oh, fucking grizzly. Come on. Come on. Uh 
I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Herman. Oh no. Oh, a gun. I'm so glad to see you. I should have listened to you. I'll never doubt you again, Akan. Oh, that's just so peaceful music now. Nice. Barney, kid. Find Barney. Okay. Barney? Come out. Come on, man. I will find you. Barney it shows up as in here. Oh, right there. Barney. I kind of killed your buddies. But you can still trust me, right? Okay. Just trying to loot a little bit. Oh. Hey, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider. I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot. What are you waiting for? Oh, no. We can help each other. Try me. Try me? I don't know. You could try, but I don't think you will. Tell me who killed Lucas. The more thinks we did it. Waste of time. Shoot. This is your last chance, Sophie. Tell me who killed Lucas before I break down this door. I could kill you right here and now. But for now, you're more used to me alive than dead. We'll see how much longer that lasts. Uh -huh. What the hell? Oh, this game just got serious real fast. Uh, Aider, Aider, Aider. Right. Sophie and Barney were gonna kill me. I got a message from Hakon. Glad you made it through in one piece. Let's meet in my quarters in the metro. We'll talk about what comes next. Okay. Alrighty, guys. A lot just went down towards the end there. That's where I'm gonna be ending this episode off. I probably gotta get some side quests done anyways. I might stream it on, I don't know, on Twitch. All my links and socials are in the description below, so check those out. But let me know what you think of the game. I'm loving it so far. I like how those last couple choices are actually giving us a time limit. And making it urgent. Like this decision really affects what's going to happen next. Which is really cool. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like the content, like, subscribe, or comment. Really helps other videos. Until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next video or live stream. Love you guys.